Commuters are bracing for a possible shutdown of New Jersey transit. If union leaders and NJT officials cannot work out a deal, the railroad will shut down beginning this coming weekend. CBS 2's Brian Connie Bear live in Newark where talks are happening right now. Brian. Yeah, guys, the talks are happening at the Hilton Hotel right behind me across from Newark Penn Station. And while union leaders I spoke with today are somewhat optimistic, commuters and local communities are doing everything they can to get ready for a strike this weekend. New Jersey transit trains could stop pulling into stations when the clock strikes midnight Saturday night into Sunday if negotiations between 11 unions and the commuter railroad that serves 105,000 people a day fall apart. If there's no train, everyone's going to be commuting by car. It's going to be crazy. Five years is too long. Five years is too long. On Saturday, hundreds of workers who haven't had a raise since 2011 rallied in Woodbridge, though union leaders say talks Friday in Washington, D.C. did make some progress. Still, commuters fear the worst. There'll be a lot of chaos. Michael Kwok commutes from Jersey City to Seton Hall University. Given NJT's history of massive delays, long lines, and overcrowded buses at the 2014 Super Bowl at MetLife Stadium, and what happened in the wake of Superstorm Sandy with rail tunnel shutdowns last summer, he doesn't think he can rely on the Railroads contingency plans if there is a walkout. Not reliable at all. You don't trust them to do the right thing in, a, in the event of a strike? No. no. We fully expect this to be worse than Sandy. That's why some communities like South Orange are making contingency plans of their own. Township Administrator Barry Lewis says these jitney buses will be their main alternative. Instead of picking commuters up around town in South Orange and bringing them here to the New Jersey Transit Station, the plan is these jitneys will pick people up here at the station and take them to the PATH trains in Newark. But that service would only handle about half of the 2,000 residents who take the train every day, and you can't use the jitneys if you don't live here. We don't even have enough jitney capacity to handle our own residents, so um, we, we're going to limit it to that, and, and you know, proof of residency will be required. This kind of local planning is being repeated all over North and Central Jersey. Communities hoping for the best and bracing for the worst if negotiations get derailed. So the talks do continue tonight. New Jersey Transit would not comment on the ongoing negotiations. For his part, Governor Chris Christie says despite the strike threat, he's going on vacation tomorrow with his wife to celebrate their 30th wedding anniversary. Reporting live in Newark, New Jersey, Brian Connie Bear, CBS 2 News. All right, Brian, thank you.